I'm going to keep it uh, short and concise, best I, best I can. You know, uh, give Minnesota credit. They have a really good football team. And, you know, they know who they are and they play to their strengths and they, they, do, a, they do a really good job. Uh, they're very well coached. They're tough. They're physical. Um, and my hat goes off to them. They played a really good football game today. Offense, defense, and special teams. Um, for us, you know, we're not good enough on either side of the ball to not play complimentary football. We can't, we're not good enough to leave it up to one side of the ball or the other. You know, we have to get stops on defense. Um, we weren't, we weren't, we were not, we were terrible on third down today defensively. You get these, get these teams a third and long. I mean, you, you have to get off the field. You cannot stay out there. You gotta be able to get the ball uh, to the offense. Uh, we're not tackling well enough. Too many low tackles, yards after contact, you know, yards after the catch. Um, we're not getting enough pressure on the quarterback. It's too easy for the quarterback. Okay, and then and then obviously we have to play tighter in coverage, but the Russian coverage has to work together, obviously. Um, and then offensively, you know, we have to make when we do get the ball, we got to do something with it, you know. And so when we don't when we don't do something with it and we put the defense back out there, that's not playing complimentary football. And then when we when we do move it and we turn it over, again, you know, that's it, you can't you can't you can't win like that, you know. So. Um, you know, I'm really not happy with what I'm saying. Um, uh, I don't accept it, um, but I do, as I look at our team and as I see things unfolding, I do, uh, I do understand what our issues are. I'm probably just not gonna talk, talk about them right now because I'm gonna watch the film and I don't wanna say anything um, uh, that is, I shouldn't say at this, at this moment, like right after a game like this, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, leave it to watching the film for the most part. So I'll answer any questions that you guys have, that you all have. Mel, the, the two weeks in a row, um, it looked like they came out with a plan to attack certain defensive backs. Yeah. At this point, mm -hmm. how do you make those adjustments? Is it personnel now or is it scheme? Yeah, I, I just, you know, like I said, I just talked to, uh, I just had a talk with some of the, some of the staff um, you know, I've got some ideas on, uh, you know, because I, I've kind of been down this road before a little bit. Uh, and so um, we'll take a look at it after we, after we watch the film. I'm going to watch the film and get the total picture um, before I um, start to answer those type of questions, uh, especially after a game like this, you know. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, easy to, it's easy to fly off the handle and I'm not going to do that. Mel, the slow starts uh, again. Score three and out. Score. Yeah. You're in such a hole. What can you do about that? With the slow starts, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's going to come down to execution. Um, you know, every everything we do is designed to work, and why it's not working, I have to watch the film on that. But obviously, you know, we have to start faster. You know, both sides of the ball. But I'm not really going to break this thing down until I until I see it. You know. Um, that's not that's not a good formula, uh, especially after a game like this. To um, you know, to, to give answers until I start specific answers about how we're going to fix things and do things until I watch the film and and to get with the and get with the staff. Hey, Mel, in the middle here. This is the second week in a row with uh, less than 50 yards rushing for you guys. I guess you know, just from your spot on the sideline, what have you seen there that that just is not good enough to get it done so far? Yeah, well, you know, from where I am, you know, I'm just looking for push and surge, you know, and so, uh, you know, sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not, and so, you know, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it and see if it's, you know, where you know where are we not stout enough, where are we not strong enough, um, and in the run game is not just the line, it's not just the backs, it's the line, the tight ends, and the and the. Uh, and the receivers, and then the backs run hard. So, you know, I'll take I'll take a look at it. Mel, short of obviously, you're not going to make any big declarations on, you know, personnel or any of those sort of things right now. But it, when when you see the game going the way it is, are you sensing that the players feel? Are they starting to feel in that second half a little beaten? And do you, I guess, what's the key mentally and emotionally to keep this team from mm -hmm. kind of going down that hole here? Yeah, I mean, well. Uh, you know, it's up, that's up to individuals, you know. 
you know, it's, if you if you feel beaten, you know, then what are you going to do about it? You know, so that's you know that's a those are that's an individual deal. You know, you can't ever be in a situation where you uh, you feel like you're beaten, and then if you feel like you're beaten, then what does that mean? Like, how how are you going to respond to that? You know, so you know I can't say if guys felt if they were felt like they were beaten or not. I saw guys continue to play, you know, but the execution wasn't there, you know. So, um, but I don't sense any any uh, any uh, lack of motivation from the from the from the kids. Peyton had two more interceptions today, a fumble in the red zone. How yeah. would you best describe maybe where his confidence is right now? Is that an issue, or just how would you describe how he played today? Well, Peyton. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what he's a 17 for 24 or something like something like that. I, I didn't see a lack of confidence in him in the game. Um, you know, we were moving down and driving the ball, and, and you know, it looked like we were going in to score. Um, and then, you know, I, I didn't actually see the replay, so I don't know what happened. But we got to take care of the ball. But I don't see any. There was no time during the game where I felt like he was not confident in what he was doing. You know, as I talked to him on the on the uh, on the sideline, and then. You know, and I just talked to him just now, you know, when he got done here. So I didn't, I didn't sense any lack of confidence with, with him. Um, disappointment, yes, but not a lack of confidence. Coach, when you're watching your film coming up and from last week and this week, are you just looking at the personnel, the player personnel on the field, or are you also looking at the scheme that the assistants put the players in? Same, but all, all, all of the above. You know, we look at the scheme and, and we look at the pl and the players, um, and you know we're we're gonna have to find out what we can do with the players that we have out there. You know, and so um, you know that's that's really what it comes down to. Right here, Coach. Uh, can you give us an injury update on Chris Bogle? No, I don't. I ha I don't know at this point. I haven't I haven't talked to the trainer. When I leave here. I go up to the coach's locker room, and then he gets with me, and we go over the over the over the report. But I haven't done, I haven't done that yet. I do that when I when I leave here, so I don't I don't have an update for you. Chris, no, we talked a lot about the players and the scheme. What about your coaching staff right now? Yeah. Where is your confidence level on both sides of the ball with your coaching staff? I'm very I'm very confident in the coaching staff. You know, I'm confident in the type of type of guys they are. Um, and uh, I mean, so we're just going through a tough stretch right now. But I don't have a lack of confidence in, in any any one of any one of my coaches, our coaches, on either side of the ball, or special teams. That's one of that's one of the things that gives me gives me confidence that we um, we can figure some things out is because of we have a really good coaching staff with a lot of smart guys that that are you know that uh, they care and competitors are, are willing to do what it takes to find solutions. You guys, uh, I, Minnesota ran 29 more plays than you guys did and controlled the ball for 42 minutes yeah. uh, plus. Um, yeah. Considering the performance last week, are you kind of blindsided by you know the team's lack of execution in this? No, no, I'm not. I'm not blind. I'm not blindsided. No, I mean we knew what their game plan was. I, I told you guys at the beginning of the week what their plan was. Their plan was to run the ball and control the clock and time of possession. That's what they do, you know, and they. And um, and so you know, we knew that we, we knew we had to stop that. But I'm not blindsided about a about a lack of execution. There's really there's really uh, nothing that happens out there that like shocks me. You know, just because I've just seen too much football. You know, so it's um, you know I'm never I'm never really shocked. I may be disappointed. You know. And uh, I may be angry. I may I may get frustrated at times, which I do. You know, we all want we all want to compete and play better and win. Um, but uh, I, I'm not. I'm I'm rarely shocked. It's something I see on the football field. Mel, a week ago you mentioned uh, out in Seattle that uh, you liked the way your team still kept fighting and, and you felt the energy was still there on the sideline. Was that still there today? I mean, a similar situation on the field, different setting though. Mm. Stands were clearing out a little bit and there were some boos. Did you still feel that same sort of energy and everything you wanted to see on the sideline you know, even late in the game? Yeah, well, I mean, just what the, what the guys were saying on the field, 
Um, you know, I felt like guys were still playing. They were still playing hard, you know, and so, you know, offense was still, um, you know, going to make plays, you know. We went for it on went for it on fourth down, you know, trying to extend the drive. I don't think it was fourth and fourteen. You know, thirteen was a go for us. Fourteen we said we're gonna go for it anyway. And uh, you know, then we you know we had a penalty or whatever. So I mean guys were, you know, still want, still wanting to, you know, play and make plays. And you can see that at the end, you know, we kept our kept our guys in and they made plays and then, you know, defensively, you know, I saw guys that the guys that we had left in the game. You know, I saw those guys, you know, really focused on, you know, uh, playing hard. I mean, that's a, it's a tough situation when you, when you, uh, you know, when you're out there, you look at the, you see the score and, you you know, the game is pretty much over, you know, this it's kind of dead in the stadium and uh, you get some boos and things like that. Then that's when, you know, that's when, uh, you know, that's when it's the toughest, you know, and so you, you know, that's when you have to show some some character, and um, and I you know I saw that in those guys. There's a lot of disappointed. There's a lot of disappointed guys and guys that is really it's really bothering those guys in there. You know, um, I've been in a situation where where it didn't bother guys. You know, where you could tell like right away after the game, guys were like on their phones. Uh, you know, maybe laughing and joking in the. In the uh, in the locker room, like in the shower, you know, uh, you know, not paying attention, you know, to when the coaches are talking to them. I don't see any of that with these guys, you know. But I have seen that before, like on teams. I've seen that. I don't, I don't, I don't see that with these guys. So, um, you know, we're just in a tough stretch right now. We'll get it figured out.